Hello everyone! Boogie Pop is a slow burn mystery anime, showing bits and pieces of the puzzle in every episode. It will take some time and patience to see the full picture. The script reminds me of Fortune Cookie, very philosophical but wrapped in mysterious and fake words. All this might sound challenging, but if you stick with it, you'll find some intriguing mystery with atmospheric visual design. Simply put, a Boogie Pop tells the story of bizarre incidents from multiple perspectives and timelines. Every episode follows one or two different characters, sometimes even those with minor parts. For example, the first episode revolves around the titular Boogie Pop and a supporting character, but they are barely involved in the narrative. It's not until a couple more episodes that we learn the true nature of the incident from others' characters' point of view. This is only one case, and we already have around 5 perspective chains. The next one would be more complex with a larger cast. It's definitely not the conventional storytelling. Honestly, I really like it. This perspective change gives more time for each character, showing their motives and emotions more. When it finally clicks and you see the big narrative, it's quite satisfying, but this also comes with various issues. The first is, like I said before, the mysterious and fake script. I understand the anime wants to create the air of mystique, but after hearing so many metaphors of changing the world by finding the flower in people's heart or hypothetical possibility of future, it gets rather contrived. This is one of the most persistent anime cliches, the use of big flamboyant words to make it more dramatic. It's not always like this. Sometimes boogie pop can be direct and much more engaging. But when it does use the metaphors, it feels tedious rather than intriguing. Also, since it hops between perspectives, you don't have the conventional protagonist role to invest on. The official title is Boogie Pop and Others. Emphasis on Others. You can argue the clear protagonist is Boogie Pop, the split personality of Miyase Tatoka. Or maybe Kirimanagi, the young detective and vigilante affectionately known as Batgirl, I mean Firewitch. Sure, they play major part, but only in a few selected episodes. In others, they only appear briefly, since not every character interacts with them. And even then, they might not be prominently featured. As sadly, several other cast members are not as equally interesting, the antagonists included, or their part is not as well written. Sometimes I would be invested on certain narrative, Excited for the next episode, only for the anime to shift the focus. Admittedly, this can be jarring. Sometimes the pacing can change as well, so this unorthodox storytelling might feel inconsistent. Fortunately, the presentation is really good. There's quite the effort on creating this eerie city atmosphere. At best, it can capture the somber tone using urban legends and clever camera angle creating this lingering sense of uneasiness of the school, house, and city streets. It has the influence from horror, but it's not frightening, more like subtly dreadful and arresting. There are also some good action sequences. The studio knows exactly how it wants to deliver the scene. It has focus and confidence with the camera work. No spinning flashy gimmick, just solid fundamental. It won't go overboard and become battle anime, but the short bursts of action it has serve the purpose well. Add a few catchy songs and soundtracks, you get the right ambiance for mystery. Still, even with all this, I would admit Boogie Pop is not the most accessible anime. While the multiple perspective narrative have its merits, it is slower. We might see the similar and even the same exact events repeated but slightly in different order or from different narrator. The anime can also dwell on certain aspects for too long. If it were edited in a conventional manner with more grounded script, we might not see some character on screen, but the pacing would be much faster. It really has its ups and downs. The saving grace is this format works better for mystery, and the series has concluded, so you can just binge watch it, as I did. If I had to wait for the next week for another slow development, it would be rather frustrating. A boogie pop is an acquired taste. I do like how it got me curious to watch the next episode, 
and how the mystery would evolve. The setting is almost nostalgic in melancholic fashion. This atmospheric style definitely works for me. However, I'd be hard pressed not to acknowledge some of its slower and more tedious moments. It's a definite recommendation for mystery fans. At least try the first case and see if this is something you want to invest on. There's a few interesting narrative here and there, but just know it will take some patience to reach them. That's it, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and comment. Consider subscribing and share with your friends. I make 3 videos every week. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.